greetings. Um, I'm Nick Padula, as some of you may be aware, and uh, if you're expecting a Let's Play, uh, I'm going to have to disappoint you. Um, this isn't going to be like one of my past videos. Now, I'm going to get more into a vlog type style where I talk about shit without video games. So, uh, if that doesn't appeal to you, um, you can either watch one of my old videos or, you know, watch some other vlog or watch a movie or something if you don't like vlogs. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna try something new and hopefully I don't suck horribly at it. I'm still gonna do pads plays, but this new uh, vlog style thingy I'm doing is gonna be called Pad Swoons where I discuss um, people that make me swoon and for those of you that don't know that means like they're so attractive they make me feel lightheaded um, this one this video will be focusing on um, the foxiest dudes in um, stardom today. And if you don't like a dude talking about how he finds dudes sexually attractive, maybe you should go back to the fucking 17th century, you goddamn bigoted piece of sh Sorry. 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 If, uh, if that doesn't appeal to you, you can just uh, exit out of this video. Maybe give me a thumbs down, because that's how you folks like to deal with things you don't agree with. Thumbs down. Maybe call me a cuck in the comment section. Call me a queer mo sexual in the comment section. Whatever helps you feel better about yourself, champ. Anyway, um, yeah, let's talk about dudes who are attractive. I'm not one of those, by the way. I'm a... I'm an ugly boy. <laughs> so for once when I cut away, it's not gonna be to a video game screen. It's gonna be me in a slightly different angle. I don't know how to make this too much more exciting. I mean, it's not like I'm shooting a Christopher Nolan film and there has to be exciting cinematography for a fucking video blog. So, you know. Whatever. Anyway, sexy dudes, let's talk about them. When I was younger, I didn't really question my sexuality or anything. Um, probably has something to do with the patriarchy instilling in me that you have to be heterosexual. But, um, it didn't occur to me until, you know, the past couple of years that, hey, you know, in another life, uh, if I wasn't in a committed relationship, I could suck a dude's dick, but it'd have to be a hot dude. I, I won't just fucking settle for bottom of the barrel dudes. I want fucking Adonis's and like ripped Hercules dudes dicks to suck. And you know, I don't want a shriveled up old man show to nom on. That's fucking not about that life, bro. But um, yeah, I guess I'm bisexual. Spoilers! It's not really a spoiler. Um, so, I try to compile a list of the men I find the most sexually attractive, and um, it's a bit hard to narrow it down. Here's my um, initial list. I won't get it too close so you won't see who's in my top 15, but there's at least uh, 50 names here of men that I either find really sexually attractive or like have a winning personality that would make me consider, uh, you know, sex with them. It's a pretty extensive list. So, I don't know. Um, but I bet you all want to hear my top 15 foxy dudes, right? Yeah? Yeah, you do? Alright, let's get into it then, shall we? Yeah, let, we shall. Ahem. Ahem. 
him. Oh, I passed it. Number 15 is Oscar Isaac, who has been in such films as Star Wars The Force Awakens as Poe Dameron. That, that film is when I had an idea that, uh, hey, that fella, he's a, he's a handsome fella. Actually, no, it was before that. It was the Coen Brothers film Inside Lewin Davis. Not that kind of inside, fellas. <laughs> Get your head out of the gutter. Uh, where he played a down-on-his-luck folk uh, musician trying to find his way in the world. That, uh, he had, not only was he handsome, he had a great singing voice. And some sick guitar skills, too, with an acoustic guitar. He can melt your fucking heart, not like Mumford and Sons. <laughs> Lame. Um, but yeah, um, there's those two, what else has he been in? Um, A Most Violent Year, I think, that was with Jessica Chastain, who is a pretty lady, but we're not here to talk about pretty ladies, we're here to talk about pretty men. Um, and he's been in other shit, too, that's not occurring to me right now. But anyways... Just because he's number 15 and it's at the bottom of the list doesn't mean I think anyone's really above him, technically. I like... I think a lot of these guys... Uh, can be pretty similar to me in terms of attractiveness. Uh, it's just I had to come up with a ranking system. I didn't want to just list things randomly. So this is the best way I thought to do it. So it says number 15, but in my heart they're all number 1.